In this video, we'll be taking a look at two NBA games happening on April 2nd, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets. As we provide these videos on a daily basis, I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these two NBA games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from 2 betting picks a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Charlotte Hornets vs. Philadelphia 76ers The Charlotte Hornets traveled to Philadelphia on Saturday afternoon in a crucial game to determine the layout of the Eastern Conference playoff picture. The Hornets are currently in a three-way tie for spots 8 to 9 to 10 in the Eastern Conference with Brooklyn and Atlanta. Cleveland appears to be locked into the seventh seed so the final matchups for the play-in tournament will be determined this week. For Philadelphia, they are in a battle for the top spot in the Eastern Conference. Just two and a half games separates the top four teams of Miami, Milwaukee, Boston and Philadelphia. The top four spots could move quite a bit over the next week. The Hornets are 15 to 5 to 1 against the spread in their last 21 road games and 7 to 3 against the spread in their last 10 games overall. The 76ers are 3 to 7 against the spread in their last 10 home games and 1-4 against the spread in their last 5 games overall. The over is 4-1 in Hornets last 5 overall. The under is 4-1 in 76ers last 5 overall. The Hornets are 3-0-1 against the spread in the last 4 meetings. Charlotte has been playing well over their last 10 games, winning 8 of them outright and covering 7. They're finding their stride at the right time and that will play a factor in today's game. Being that the Hornets are playing great right now, I look for them to be able to control the pace this afternoon and play their style of basketball. The Hornets are the seventh-ranked team in offensive efficiency, scoring 111 points per 100 possessions while the Sixers are 13th at 110. Both teams are about even in rebound rate, ranking 22nd and 23rd in the association. The Charlotte Hornets are playing their best ball of the season, and they go on the road where they actually win by an average of 0.6 points. The Philadelphia 76ers are the more talented team and will get the benefit of the doubt at home but they're also slumping. Doc Rivers called out Harden Thursday night, and they only win at home by an average of two points anyway. The Hornets are coming into this game with plenty of momentum and they will be full of confidence after securing a spot in the play-in tournament with a solid win over the Knicks on Wednesday. The 76ers have been struggling a bit lately and things went from bad to worse after losing to the lottery-bound Pistons on Thursday despite a big game from Embiid. The Hornets are 3-0-1 against the spread in the last four meetings overall. This line is disrespectful toward the Hornets. All things point to Charlotte being able to hang within seven points, if not win this game outright. So the Charlotte Hornets to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. The Hornets are playing the best they have all season, winning eight out of their last 10 games. They should be confident heading into today's game and be able to push the pace against the 76ers. Charlotte is fifth in the league in pace at 102.3 possessions per game so we should expect a lot of up and down basketball today. The Hornets are the top ranked team in the league in terms of scoring, averaging 115 points per game. Finally, Charlotte doesn't really have a big man that's going to be able to completely slow down Joe Embiid. The 76ers should have no issue dishing the ball to Embiid and getting easy buckets to keep pace with Charlotte. Even in a game that Philadelphia will try and slow the pace down, I expect a large number of points due to the Sixers' propensity to get to the free throw line combined with Embiid's clear advantage in the block against a smallish Hornet squad. Each team will be well into the on 120s in this game, and based on both the importance of the game and Philadelphia's mediocre play as of late, it would not shock me if a one-possession game late turns into an overtime game. Expect the high-volume three-point shooting Hornets and the high-volume free-throw shooting Sixers to push the total today. The Charlotte Hornets, the fifth-highest scoring team in the NBA, matching up with a Philadelphia team that is allowing nearly six points more per game than their season average over the last three and four points above their season average since the trade deadline is a recipe for a high-scoring affair. Over the projected total is our full-game total pick.
Cleveland Cavaliers versus New York Knicks. There's an Eastern Conference matchup on the hardwood in the Big Apple as the regular season winds down with a pair of teams searching for a victory. The Cleveland Cavaliers are on the road to face the New York Knicks Saturday afternoon in a matinee contest. Cleveland was blasted 131 to 107 on the road by Atlanta in their previous contest Thursday night. New York was appended 125 to 114 at home by Charlotte in their most recent game on Wednesday night. In the all-time regular season series between the teams, the Knicks own a 116 to 102 advantage, but the Cavaliers have claimed both meetings this season. That includes a 95 to 93 home win in the most recent matchup on January 24th. Looking at the betting trends, the Cavaliers are 0 to 4 against the spread in their last four road games, 1-7 against the spread in their last eight games against a team with a losing record, and 5-15-1 to to against the spread in their last 21 games overall. The Knicks are 7-1 to against the spread in their last eight games against a team with a winning record, 2-9 to against the spread in their last 11 home games, and 6-0 to against the spread in their last six games overall. Head-to-head, -head, the Cavaliers are 2-6 against the spread in the last eight meetings overall, and the Cavaliers are 7-3 against the spread in the last 10 meetings in New York. The Cavaliers are banged up, but the Knicks have struggled to score offensively this season as they average just 110.4 PPG, which ranks 22nd in the NBA. Cleveland, meanwhile, is averaging 111.3 PPG and shooting 46.7% from the field while this season. The Cavaliers are 39-34-4 against the spread this season, while the Knicks are 36-41. Along with that, New York has struggled as home underdogs as they are 4-10 against the spread in that situation. This season, Cleveland is 2-0 against New York winning one game by exactly two points and the other by 17 points. The Cavaliers will again be missing Rajon Rondo, Evan Mobley and Jared Allen, while the Knicks are without Nerlens No, Derrick Rose and Quentin Grimes. The Cavaliers have really dropped down the standings during their slump, so they need a win here to keep them in seventh place in the Eastern Conference. While the Knicks have little to play for in this one, the Knicks are coming into this meeting as the team in better form, but the Cavaliers need this one and I think they can snap out of their funk. Cleveland has seen the under hit in 42 of their 77 games this season. With one push, the Cavaliers are 25th in tempo with 96.1 possessions per game. New York is a methodical team when it comes to the tempo as they are 28th in the league in pace with an average of 95.9 possessions per contest. The Knicks have seen the under hit in 38 of their 77 games on the year. We've seen four of the last five meetings between these teams end up short of this number and the most recent meeting saw a combined 188 points. Cleveland and New York both play at a slow pace so the under is the way to go as 214 points seem a bit too high. The Cavaliers play at a pace of 98.4 which ranks 26 while the Knicks play at a pace of 98.3 which ranks 27th. In the two games they played against each other, one game went over while the other went under but in those two games, they averaged 211 points. This season, Cleveland is 41 to 34 to 2 and hitting the under while New York is 37 to 38 to 2. Meanwhile, in the Cavaliers' last five games, they are averaging 218.2 ppg, but that includes a game they allowed 131 points to Atlanta and 120 points to Dallas, who have better offenses than the Knicks. This game will be at a slow pace. With missing pieces on both sides of the floor, it's hard to have a ton of faith in the offenses here. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.